So here we go for a strategic session, a brief overview of blocks in this, the 1942 scenarios starting in June and lasting for six turns till November 42. Uh, as you can see, we have already deployed all the forces and we have a very strong Soviet defense around the Moscow and Leningrad area while a, well, it seems weaker in the south with just some units here and there uh, guarding the Caucasus the three one along the Turkish border for uh, for the rule regarding bordering the Turkish border uh, the one in Tehran for providing the Soviets one extra production point and the others uh, trying to hold on the axis we also see that the Soviets has two units, two blocks in Sevastopol and two units each in Oranienbaum and Leningrad so uh, I have already prepared an overall strategy for the axis and the main idea is as we need two victory cities so those marked with the red flag Leningrad in the north, Moscow in the center, Stalingrad on the Volga and at <laughs> a very impressive distance from the front line, Baku. But we also know that nothing is impossible for German panzers. So what I have prepared here is a plan to get absolutely Stalingrad and then try to decide if we can get Moscow which is closer or if we can try the long rush for Baku. In this game we have been playing with the Chrome expansion and the Soviet player has decided to put in play all the three cards so basically he will be able to deploy this, the Soviet forts, he will play the NKVD once per turn and also he will be able to play to put in play the Cossack Mountain Cavalry. On the other side the Axis player has decided to randomly choose an equal number of spheres and so he got major pride with increased Hungarian capability and deployment but unfortunately we need to downgrade German production from 36 to 35 and instead we will increase Hungarian production from 1 to 2 and we have also deployed the Manfred base Hungarian factory tank factory in Budapest to the Hungarians will have a certain a sort of <laughs> panzer boosting and also an elite panzer unit starting from January 43 but this is not our story because we will finish the game in November 42 the other card we have drawn from the deck is von Richthofen takes over granting us a certain amount of advantages in terms of bombing and air supply capability and so we have a good incentive for going for the Caucasus. Now, uh, back to the main situation, what I have in mind is that, as you can see here, we have uh, some units in double level. Those units, for example, these ones around Sevastopol, are marked in one over the other just to 
uh, highlight where the main attack will be conducted by the Wehrmacht and as I want to try to extend our line along the Don, this is the main goal so what I want to do is to reach Voronets and hold the Don line to do this the first thing it becomes obvious is that I need Rostov Rostov is the Caucasus gate and not only it worthy because of being the only rail going to the Caucasus except for the one from Stalingrad but also if I get Rostov I can get a another Panzer headquarter which is Maximilian von Hayes Army Group B and then getting Grozny will provide the Wehrmacht with the Chechen warriors the other city I need is Voronezh but having a larger view of the situation what becomes uh, obvious is that the Wehrmacht and Air Allies have not sufficient manpower to cover all the front line as it is so what we need immediately is to get Sevastopol using the uh, powerful Gustav cannon and another thing I would like to do right in the north is try to reduce the counter reserve bulge so the Valdai Hills bulge attacking in this point eliminating these Soviet units will not only grant in the Wehrmacht with precious manpower but also will free some units to overextend our lines along the Don this is the second stage of our assault so the first stage is we need Sevastopol to secure the southern flank uh, get the Kerch straight and cross it as soon as it possible get Novorossiysk which is a very important harbor on the Black Sea get Voronezh because that's the with Rostov those will be the two main cities we need to cover our advance towards Stalingrad and get the bulge okay and in the extreme north we want to try an attack with the Finns trying to isolate Murmansk and siphoning some Soviet units and production points there as they have only one rail there it's not a very good it's not very easy for the Soviets to redeploy their troops there so uh, I have put my panzer on and uh, now the first thing I will start doing is the production phase so let's have a quite uh, sorry a very quick look at the production <laughs> 